Hello everyone, this is Brett Settles with Revisto, and I wanted to do a quick video today about migrating projects from Revisto 4 to Revisto 5. This process should be very easy. There are a few things we need to keep in mind, mainly around our ability to read in object data at a deeper level, which will require a re-export of your 3D model. Everything else we can transfer through our migration process. As you can see, I'm working on the latest public build of 5.1, or, or Revisto version 5. And as I go into the splash screen, you'll notice that I can visibly see all of my Revisto 5 projects. But what about migrating from Revisto 4 based on my account and the projects that I have on my account? The way that we're going to do this is, is we're going to come over to the filter, which by default is set as active. And we're going to pull this down, and you'll notice that Revisto 4 is now an available filter in this option. This will give us the ability to look through all of our Revisto 4 projects and choose which one that we want to upgrade to the new version of Revisto. I'm going to go through here and search for one of my lighter projects so that this export process doesn't take too long. And as we can see, I'm going to upgrade this law office project. Now, we cannot open projects in Revisto 4 and Revisto 5. So if we double click on this, what we're gonna see is, is we are met with a dialogue explaining to us the process of migrating this project into the new version of Revisto. Here you can see that there is some literature to read through here, which essentially says that it will be necessary to migrate this to the new format, the migration will create a new project in the V5 format and will replicate the settings that were established in the V4 project, with the exception of the 3D scenes. The main reason behind this is because we have completely changed the way that we read object data in order to provide our clients with deeper ability with object data, model interrogation, search sets, and any of the other advanced features that we've worked into version 5. 2D sheets will make their way over, but the version history will be lost. And any of the export scheduler settings that were set up will need to be reestablished via the authoring tool. After the version 5 migration, the version 4 project will be archived automatically on the cloud. And this will prevent the users from opening the project in version 4 by mistake. We recommend migrating from V4 to V5 out of regular office hours in order to reduce any sort of impact or downtime to your users. Once you've read through this and have accepted the disclaimer on the migration, this will allow you to migrate this project to version 5 by simply clicking this button here, and everything except for the 3D content will begin to be migrated over, including all of the issues, the commentary, reporting, and anything outside of those 3D models and without the version history of the sheets, although the sheets will be migrated. Once the migration has taken place, you will notice that all of your issues will appear in the issue tracker. We will retain any of the commentary, the markups, or any of the status changes. You also see that in 2D, your documents are still represented as they were before, but you will only get the latest version of that document. In the 3D space, you'll notice that the 3D space is going to be blank upon initial import. Although we can see the Revit models over here, there is no information here, and that information will need to be re-exported from the authoring tool. And if you are running on an export scheduler, that will also have to be re-established. In order to complete the migration process, we simply open up our authoring tool, make sure that we have an established view, and access the Revisto 5 tab. Whenever we do this, we can make sure that we are linked to the correct project. As I come in here and link, link to an existing project that has been migrated. 
And here I can see the law office project that I've migrated to the most recent version of Revista. Whenever I click on this, it will establish that connection. And here we can see the model's coordinates. And also down here, we can say align with existing model in the Revisto project, select the correct model, and then say OK. Once we've done this, it will align everything from our existing project to our Revit project. And we can say OK to establish that connection and then re-export that information into the project. As you can see, it already knows that we want to update that existing model that's existed in that project for some time, even before the migration. And when we say OK, we will get back all of our default settings, such as what view we were using and all of the settings that were in there. In this situation, I'm not going to export sheets simply because those latest sheets made their way in. And as I export the information, it will appear as if we're exporting just like we normally do with Revista. It will run through the export process. And once completed, this project will be successfully migrated into the new version. And the teams can proceed as normal, as well as any of the export processes that you have set up to get to this point. We appreciate everyone dealing with this process and this migration process. One of the reasons why we've done this is because we've had enormous feedback among the community that they want Revisto to go further into uh, and earlier into the process, creating a, a tighter relationship with those authoring tools. And that's what we've begun to deliver with the new version of Revisto. And so we appreciate everyone bearing with us through this process. Very easy process, but not necessarily a single push of a button. Um, however, once this export is completed, we'll be able to go into version five, take advantage of all the new tools and proceed with our collaboration in an integrated environment. Export is finished. We can now expand our tree, access any of our data. As we can see here, we can jump in and grab any of our system panels, zoom right into those from the object tree, take advantage of any of the properties, but also go back and take a look at all of our pre-existing issues and any of the communication that has happened behind those issues. And at this point, we have successfully migrated to version five. We can sync all the changes up to the cloud and then proceed as normal.